CC2, all you needed to do was this. Was it so freaking hard to do this? So yesterday at the State of Play, we essentially got an announcement of Naruto x Boruto Ultimate Ninja Storm Connections. Now, for a lot of people that have been disappointed by this trailer, now you know how I feel for the past 7 or so years with anime games. At least 90% of them. Many people's expectations were too high when it come to this. And it comes down to what's the wipe your booty, wipe your hands, man. Leaks hurt video games. When you get a leak that sounds too good and then the final product sucks, you're gonna be pissed off about it. That's just simply what it is, bruh. Now hear me out. I don't condone leaks. I will say this though. But what if I told y'all I was kinda happy for the Storm Connections leaks? Are you serious right now, bro? However, seeing people see past the thing that they show proves how they market you and get your buddy off of each game purchase with anime games. Now a lot of people understand how people are like looking at these games from a different perspective, especially the older audience that's been playing Storm since 2008 on PS3. But enough, we'll come back to this later. Let's talk about the actual trailer. Number one, why do people hate this trailer? The trailer is really bad. Also, I think the trailer is actually pretty amazing, okay? And I applaud CC2 in this regard. Usually when it comes down to collections and stuff like this, companies try to make it seem bigger than what it is. And when they did this, it, it kind of, they came out to be somewhat honest with it to an extent. See, when you do a reveal trailer, you are supposed to tease stuff. That's how I feel. Look at the Street Fighter 6 reveal trailer. Look at most other games reveal trailer. This trailer is longer than most reveal trailers. But now that we know what's in the trailer and from PlayStation Vlog, it looks like they're going to cut corners even with the story mode in a way, where it's probably going to be more akin to a mix of Storm 4 and some recuts of the game story anyway. Essentially, if you play Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory, I'm expecting this, but with Naruto Storm. Essentially, in Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory, it's pretty much like a recap of everything of Kingdom Hearts up to three at that point but everything's not there you just generally get some of the more iconic moments in the game put into you know the main package i definitely think i definitely think that's what storm connections is gonna be even on the website and playstation blog they even came out and said yo we're gonna recut um some scenes with some anime shots so if you hate the slash shows and storm forward you're probably not gonna like this either most likely <laughs> if you own the legacy collection right you're you're not gonna want to buy this again i mean you're gonna have to buy it because storm 4 is gonna disappear right and they're gonna make everybody shift to naruto to boruto right they're not gonna be able to come connect to each other it's like pokemon you can't battle people from pokemon i think sword and shield versus pokemon scarlet and violet that ain't how it work usually people gotta jump over to another game because the online infrastructure is different but there's some positives in this trailer though Essentially, looking at the gameplay and seeing some of the scenes that they've done, you can see some Storm 4 engine being put into some of these boss battles. Now, I think that's dope and all. However, I think it loses its charm because the way you have to play each Storm game with the gameplay and experience is kind of tied to it in a way. Like, I get that it's modernized for today and they try to make it feel everything feel like Storm 4, but I feel like it kills the integrity of what made each Storm game fun to play. Doing certain things in Storm 2 mechanics are cool, and doing some things in Storm 3 mechanics were cool. So, we don't know much about the gameplay mechanics. In the trailer, you can see Naruto versus Sasuke using like a, a super chakra dash pretty much against um, Naruto in Storm 2. So now it seems like they're putting mechanics in some games, and I feel like that might kill off some of the bosses in a way, because it kills off the charm of each game. Y'all get what I mean? Like, it feels like, yeah, it's cool that everything could probably be smoother and faster in those games. If they were remaking boss battles to the level of Storm 4, if they would have came out and said that, then I would be hyped about the story stuff. But right now, it's like, I don't think Connections is going to be nowhere near as good as Storm 1, 2, 3, or 4, right? When how they did things. Bottom line, I'm just trying to say, I think it's going to be cool to probably go through it one time and that's it. Most people that have been playing Storm consistently since the beginning are going to play the story mode maybe once. And I could see CC2 doing the thing where you got to play through the story mode to unlock certain characters. What? I hate that. 
like they gonna probably make a pre-order bonus like they did with storm to unlock naruto and sasuke the last for probably boruto stuff wait you mean there's a boruto stuff based on best buy this is why it's kind of hype is that they said they're gonna have a new exclusive boruto story coming from this so essentially i'm expecting like us to go through the story mode and then we get to the boruto arc and then most likely we'll go up to baron mode stuff at that point i'm already speculating characters like io uh ishiki um baron mode naruto another boruto and sarada maybe and some other characters come into the game because even in this trailer you do see a new ultimate jutsu with the uchiha family so at least they trying in some ways i think even in the trailer i think sasuke's tilt might be different so there may be hope for this game in the balancing department but this is an anime game so don't hold your hopes too much with that if we didn't have these leaks and stuff going around everybody probably would have been excited but personally knowing how cc2 markets their games it's still scary to not know everything about the game up front because they can bamboozle you towards the release of the game. So in a way, I think the leaks kind of helped the game out for my taste because I know what I'm getting into already. Now, I would say like, yo, if they put rollback in the game, they put the good neck code in the game. I, it got to be rollback and it can't be Street Fighter V, bro. It got to be good. Like that's the weakest part of CC2. They net code. If they make that hit, I'm in it. I'm cool. I'm Gucci. I am happy. And then don't even think about not having to worry about the lobbies and stuff like that, right? Essentially, Storm, we've been through this whole hashtag fix Storm 4 in the past for them to not do it in JoJo's All Star Battle R or put it in Demon Slayer on launch. So who knows? We might not even get lobbies again, bro. I have zero faith in CC2. And the biggest problem about this is the price. Who trying to pay $60 for cut story modes? I think you could get the full experience for Storm 1, 2, 3, and 4, for, uh, unless they unlist them, right? That's the scubby thing they could do. Unlist them from like every store, PS Store, uh, Steam, and stuff like that. If they do that, you could get that experience for probably $50 at this point. <laughs> and they charging a full $60 for the game. And some people will be like, no, nah, man, that's not full price. But you ain't gonna act like we weren't complaining about games being $60 a year ago right this is just ten dollars off it's gonna be the new norm to drop it to 60 for some games to make it appear cheaper than the norm now will i be getting the game will i be getting content on it and stuff like that i most likely will be i'm not gonna lie to you i feel like i should just go ahead and do it <laughs> and two if i enjoy it if the game's actually pretty good i'm down with it me personally as a person who plays storm for some, a long period of fucking time i cannot stand a lot of the mechanics in storm 4 i personally do not like how they did tag mechanics in storm 4 but i personally like the idea of having a character and then like letting your assist work around your character it was only good to me like that in storm right it felt closer in that system to some assist fighting games like million blood arthur or things of that nature i kind of always liked that format and the way they did tag was kind of brain dead in this game oh and then they show ashra's and indra's characters right that's cool i think that's dope i think the problem is they 10 years too late and cc2 keep doing this it's like so annoying when we asked for characters and they pretty much wasn't on a dlc train though which was so weird when everybody else was it's like they didn't really think dlc existed to like end of ps4 era midway through it at least but i do think there is some positives for naruto to boruto storm connections this game essentially is jojo all-star battle r right they're repackaging the whole game trying to put it all on one platform and it's on ps5 and everything else as well thing here is i think we will get seasons pass content for naruto for the first time at least actively throughout the development of the game at this point having naruto on ps5 could probably be they do shinobi strikers this game unfortunately will probably be around forever like it could go around as long as shinobi strikers with dlc at this point I don't know i personally feel like we need to see more gameplay and they need to talk about what has changed from the gameplay that's the only thing i need to see at this point and i need to know if the net code's good cc2 y'all gonna have to prove y'all gonna have to show out with this net code or not it's trash if you're a storm content creator don't feel bad buying it it's your content that being said if you want to talk to me more about naruto the boruto storm connections please follow me on twitter at avatar yaya 
um, underscore link in the description down below also join the discord in the description down below you can ask me questions and you will always get notified when your boy upload and remember you guys are golden and that is raw squala peace and i'm out well, that's it. I'm the I, I've been a devil, I need me a hawk and no one in my breathing, I feel well like time's raw hey. Walking this bitch with a sound, I don't wanna let you rock it, I keep me a domino hey. Bitch, I'm a dip and I feel like a Zaki, stretching that pussy out like it's Pilates I'm stretching the soul, I fight out of a body, fire, I'm spitting, I feel well like Dobby White bitch, blonde hair, looking like Lucy, she from Kiyoshi, I paint her face suit